What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Did not think I would be talking about Jeepers Creepers so soon once again. But a very relevant interview, I'll say, has come out from Timo Verensola with Cinedump. Thank you to the uh, Jeepers Creepers Brazil fan page for sending this my way. Shout out to you. You know who you are. He shared some very enlightening comments uh, and some very interesting details. One major detail that I'm sure a lot of you see in the thumbnail and in the video title that I'm going to touch on soon during this video, of course. He stated in this interview with Cinedump that I'll leave a link to it, actually, the entire interview in the description, of course. But during this interview, he let it be known that he likes Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And I mean, you really didn't have to say that. I think it was pretty apparent to me and many others who were in theaters watching this promo package or pre-video package pre-movie package of you basically begging us to like it too and i'm i already knew right then and there oh boy we're in for something that is going to be a shit show and it ended up being a very big shit show it's a very bad film sir it's it's just god awful so he let a lot of important things to me slip during this interview not slip but brought up a lot of important things i'm just going to talk about in this video uh he says that he prepped for the fourth film by rewatching the old movies and focused on how to make the creeper modern, which we've heard him talk about before in the past. The problem is this interview, just like with what his efforts have already shown us, it continues to just demonstrate that this isn't a horror fan. He isn't someone who has a passion for making horror movies. So this person is not the best individual to continue to keep making these sequels. If this is what we're going to continue to get. If the if the bar is set this low and this is what we're going to be content with, we can just sit down and prepare to get a lot of trash Jeepers Creepers films. But we know that he's admitted that he is not coming back, and he, nor does he want to come back because he's traumatized from our response. He's also aware that you guys want to have his head cut off. He mentioned this in the interview. So if you were sending him some nasty or any overly hateful or any hateful messages at all that aren't related to the movie, please stop that. He says that. He wasn't aware that Jeepers Creepers had such a big fan base. The fact that he even said that during this interview is more than enough reason for me to think that he doesn't have enough passion about the genre, let alone this series. Timo also doubled down on how he was a hired gun, citing that the producers Terry Bird and Jake Seal were the ones really calling the shots. Um, and then those two producers, who I've talked about a lot of times in other videos, we know there's an ongoing lawsuit for this project with Myriad Pictures, who is claiming that they have a contractual right when it comes to first, ne first negotiations or last refusal to distribution rights to the Jeepers Creepers series. But Terry Bird and Jake Seal recently, they had another lawsuit settled with the actress Eva Green, who was a part of one of the most, not one of the most recent, but the recent James Bond franchise. Uh, one of those earlier films that came out in like two th in 2005 or so, around that time period. They had a lawsuit settled with actress Eva Green recently. And like I stated in another video, she's called Terry Bird a moron and has some very hateful things to say about Jake Seal. She didn't want to have herself lowered to be a part of this whatever low effort <laughs> B movie they were trying to produce with her. Because I can't remember the title right now. But with lawsuits again following them left and right and all of this drama surrounding them, it's like we got to get these producers out here. Not even just Timo. These producers have to go. These are some of the same producers who were factored in the Jeepers Creepers 3. There needs to be a complete rehaul. We have to get rid of them. They're not trying to make anything quality wise. They're trying to just profit off a notable IP. They know that they can do the bare minimum, get the bare minimum uh, return investment, and then they're fine with that. They're not trying to really revive the series as opposed to what we were told. Oh, this is the first of a planned trilogy. We're not getting a freaking trilogy. So my thing here is if those two are calling the shots, they need to be removed because their contributions to three and four again are terrible. Timo's wordings also make me think that his role was useless since he's in, he's admitting that Victor's movies were more director driven and Reborn is more producer driven. So why have a director? And to me, I have to speculate here. Did they themselves know that you were terrible and were the ones telling you what to do? And then you told everyone else what to do. What was actually going on on set? Because this is not... This is this just sounds bad. If you don't have any faith in the filmmaker, if that's what the what was actually going on, he shouldn't have been in the chair. Now, here's 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 where I want to translate next or transition into next from there. This man also said there was a different director on board originally, so he wasn't even supposed to direct this movie. So my question now is. Who was supposed to direct it? I don't believe it was Victor because of what I've told you had apparently occurred in post-production with Jeepers Creepers 3 and that feud that went on between him and the crew. But also, 
if there was another director, were they more or less qualified than Timo? Could we have ended up with an even worse product or a better product? Will the original director please stand up? This interview and the way he was delivering certain things just so nonchalantly especially that one like oh i wasn't the original director but that didn't work out so they just they just brought me in who was the original director did victor initially agree to return and work with these clowns or was it someone else i believe it might have been someone else just given the backlash or the rivalry that went on between victor and the producers and the crew with jeepers creepers 3 so who was this original director? I would love to know. Timo didn't state who it was. I doubt he even, even he knows. But he seems to know that he was a replacement. So Timo was a replacement director for Jeepers Creepers 4. That was the biggest bombshell during this interview. Oh, this this IP has to... either It either has to stay dead and buried. Or we either have to work to make sure these producers... Well, not us. Somebody. We have to work to make sure that they are removed hopefully something positive comes out of this lawsuit because if myriad pictures wins and hopefully who whoever has the principal rights to the ip because i know michael O'Hoven and his production company that he he apparently has the rights to produce these movies but hopefully there is a parent company that can strip them from him and give it to someone else because this is ridiculous they, they these people don't want to make quality films they don't the product without victor is still trash you know you can argue as much as you want to that what they did with three was karma for victor and yes while that's some great karma given what he did they're still producing trash there's something else going on than just trying to get back at victor salva you have people who don't care people who don't care they want to put out the bare minimum not even bare minimum low bar quality content and then just make the bare minimum because that's enough of a return investment to put food on their tables at nice the the fandom be damned they don't care you guys, let me know what you think about these details down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. There is a video in the description. I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.